Hello friends, want to tell you about an instant film shoot I did recently with Erica Delijah. This is the second time I shot with Erica. We went out to the Santa Monica Pier. This is the end of Route 66. It's kind of like the end of Los Angeles. It's just you, the Pacific Ocean, but what makes Santa Monica Pier a little bit different from all the other beaches surrounding it is that they have arcades. This is the very same week that I went to Las Vegas with my family and tried out multiple exposures using my Lomo Instant Mini. And I had some pretty good luck in the casino portion of those shoots. So I wanted to try the same thing with the model. We did shoot around the beach. We shot those entirely digital, but once we got up to the arcade, it was really just a matter of engaging Erica and trying to get some fun looks out of her. Uh, a lot of these I shot really randomly, so they're just faces. But in a few cases, we found some things that had actual ties to the location. And I always think that's important in a shoot. What makes this place unique from, say, the arcade that I would find in Las Vegas. It was a little more family friendly, had photo booths that I incorporated into it. It had the same kind of swami fortune teller devices, but I learned from my Las Vegas experiences where I kind of failed at shooting the Swami fortune tellers alongside my family. I had the camera pressed exactly up to the glass so the flash didn't give any reflection off of that. And then I positioned him off to the side so he wouldn't blend perfectly with Erica. We also experimented down on the beach with uh, light painting, which is essentially where you hold the camera shutter open for an extended period of time, like seven, eight seconds. You have lights moving around in the background. They could be lights from finger lights, which is what we utilized here. It could be lights from a cell phone or flashlight. This was photographed on the Lomo Instant wide camera, and it was done the very same week that one of my favorite bands, Gunship, released a new album. Gunship is chill wave, 80s retro uh, synth wave. They do play up the 80s aesthetic really high, so we did the same thing with these kind of neon finger lights that are going around in the background. Finger lights are something you can pick up most party places and targets, but because this is Halloween season when we shot this, it was really easy to get cheap finger lights at the local Walmart. And then I had my son and my daughter running around Erica and doing the light shapes. I taught them how to do it. I had my camera on a tripod. I held the shutter open for 10 seconds each time. Again, we were limited on the amount of film we had and the amount of time we had, but I think we got some really cool stuff that keeps with that synthwave aesthetic that I was thinking about in the back of my head. And if you don't know what the synthwave aesthetic is, you know, think of Tron, think of old Nintendo cartridges and advertisements for the Sega Genesis, and you're gonna be in the right ballpark. I also filmed a little bit of Erica talking about instant film and instant film cameras. She is an instant film camera of her own, and here she is. So my name is Erica. I'm a freelance model. I am from the Central Coast on California. So I just got the Polaroid one step two. I want to try to do more like double exposure stuff like we did today. So hopefully I'll get another camera and experiment with that, with that a little bit more. Whereas I took your advice on a lot of the stuff. I'll probably get the mini Neo Classic. Is that the one that you have? Yeah, the silver one. I'll probably get that one as well. Um, the one that's rattling right now, but I've used that for five years, so I'm yeah, not, not worried. If I got a new one, it'd be a little bit <laughs> but yeah, no, so I, I like went through lists, like three different lists before I made my decision and then I went with that one because I knew that it would be like easy for me to learn first. I like that it is like the that one shot, um, but it is that one shot so it's also like the downside to it, but I like that. I just feel like I need to practice more with it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more creative tutorials, gear reviews and video art. Also check out our Patreon for weekly bonus videos and model photography sets.